Hello students, in today's video we shall discuss chapter 1 patterns in mathematics subtopic 1.2 patterns in numbers. The most basic pattern that occurs in mathematics are patterns of numbers, particularly the patterns of whole numbers. Whole number starts from 0 and then 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Okay, so these are all whole numbers. And this is the basic pattern of numbers. The branch of mathematics that studies patterns in whole numbers is called number theory. So the branch of mathematics that studies patterns in whole numbers is called number theory. In this subtopic, we are going to learn about the different types of patterns and that is the number sequences. In your textbook, 10 different number sequences are given that we are going to learn. The first one is 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1. So this is called all ones. And here what are we doing? We are just adding 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. Again 1 plus 0 is 1. So just go on adding zeros and you will get the pattern. So that's why it's called all ones. The second one is counting numbers. Counting numbers starts from 1. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. So these are also called natural numbers or counting numbers and the rule here is we are just adding 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 1 is 3. Plus 1 is 4. So just go on adding plus 1. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 like that. The next one is odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on. Now these numbers cannot be completely divided into two equal parts. Like if I take 1, 1 cannot be divided into two parts, right? Two parts as in we can divide 1 as half and half but then otherwise we cannot divide it as numbers, some uh, whole numbers. Now 3, if you see, if you have 3 chocolates, it can be divided as 1 and 1 but still 1 is remaining, okay? 5. 5 can be divided as 2 plus 2 equally. But then 1 is still remaining. So all these numbers cannot be divided equally into two parts. Or mathematically we can say that these numbers are not completely divisible by 2. Okay. The rule here is just add 2. Plus 2. Plus 2. Plus 2. Go on adding 2 to get the next term. Next we have even numbers. Starts from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on. Now these numbers can be equally divided into two parts. So if I have two chocolates, I can give 1 plus 1, 2. 4 can be divided as 2 plus 2. Three can, uh, sorry, 6 can be divided as 3 plus 3. So can be equally divided into two equal parts. Or we can say these numbers are completely divisible by 2. If you see carefully these, uh, this is the table of 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10. Like this. And the rule here is you can just add 2 again. Plus 2, plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 2, 10 and like that. Next we have 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21 and so on. So these numbers are called triangular numbers. These are called triangular numbers because these numbers form equilateral triangle. When you see the next subtopic, the pictorial representation of this, then you will see that these numbers would form perfect equilateral triangles. Now for now, the rule is that just see what position this is. This is in position number 1, position 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Okay, then 7 term like that. This is the position where the number is. Now, how to get this? 1 plus 2. Okay, this number plus the position. Second term we want. So, 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, then 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. And if I want the 7th term. So this is 21, 21 plus 
7. That will be 28. That's how the pattern goes on. Next we have squares. 1, 4, 9, uh, 16, 25, 36 and so on. So square numbers how do we get? See this is first one is 1 square. That means 1 into 1 is equal to 1. Second one is 2 square. 2 to the 4. 9 is 3 3 the 9. Right? 16 is 4 4 the 16. Likewise, this is 5 squared. And we can write it like this also. 5 squared. That means 5 into 5. This is 6 squared. 6 6 the 36. So these numbers are called square numbers or perfect squares. 1, 8, 27, 64, 125. These are called cubes or cube numbers. Now here 1 is multiplied 3 times. 1 into 1 into 1 is equal to 1. For the second one 2 is multiplied 3 times. So 2 into 2 into 2. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. This can also be written as 2 to the power of 3. Like this we can write. This number 3 on the right top is called the power. How many times 2 is being multiplied? 1, 2, 3. So 2 to the power of 3. 27 is 3 into 3 into 3. 3, 3 is a 9. 9, 3 is a 27. So this can be written as 3 because this is 3, right? To the power of 3. 1, 2, 3. 3 times it is multiplied. 64, 4 into 4 into 4. 4, 4 is a 16. 16 into 4 is 64. So 4 to the power of 3. Like this. So these are called cube numbers because the numbers are multiplied 3 times. The same number is multiplied by itself 3 times. 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13 and so on. These are called Virahanka numbers. Now the rule for Virahanka numbers is you write 1 and 2 first. Okay, 1 and 2. And then to get the next term add these two. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Now to get the next term add these two terms. So 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So, if I want the next term here, I will add 8 and 13. 8 plus 13 is equal to 21. So, this is the rule for Viranka numbers. Just add the previous two numbers. Add the previous two numbers to get the next term. So, this is 21. Then we have powers of 2. Power, I told you. What is power? Like here it is powers of 2. So 2 is the base. This is called the base. And the power is any number that we are writing here on top. So 1 can be written as 2 to the power of 0. So 2 to the power of 0 is 1. Any number except 0 if you write. Like for example if I write 3 to the power of 0. That is 1. 4 to the power of 0 is 1. So it is all 1. Okay. This which you will learn in higher grades. As of now, just remember that any number to the power of 0 except 0. If you write 0 to the power of 0, this is undefined. Okay? So, that's why we say 0 is not allowed. Except 0, any number is there to the power of 0. That will be 1. Okay? So, now we are talking about powers of 2. That means 2 will be the base. And for the second one, 2 to the power of 1. 2 is multiplied 1 times. So, 2. 4, 2 to the power of 2, which means 2 to the 4, like that. So, this 8 will be 2 to the power of 3. 2 is multiplied 3 times. You can multiply and check. 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 5, this will be 2 to the power of 6. Multiply 2, 6 times and whatever you get, that will be the answer. The last type of number sequence that we have here is 1, 3, 9, 27, 81. And these are called 
powers of three. So from the name itself, you can make out it is power of three. So three will be the base, and then we start with zero. So three to the power of zero is equal to one. That's the first one. Then three to the power of one is equal to three. Second one, three to the power of two, which means three is multiplied two times. So that's nine. So this will be three to the power of three. Three three is a nine. Nine three is a twenty-seven. Three to the power of four. Next term will be three to the power of five. So this is how the sequence goes on. So this is what is given in your one point two subtopic. And after this, there are two questions given in figure it out that we will be doing in the next video. Thank you.